Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captainist123 and today we will learn how to solve problems involving time. Thomas wants to create an invitation for his birthday party next year, but does not know what day of the week his birthday is going to be on. Do you know what Thomas can use to help him find out? Thomas can use a calendar. A calendar is a chart that contains years, months and days of the week. Before we can use a calendar, we must understand how these time periods are related to each other. There are 12 months in one year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Each month contains a different number of days. For example, there are 30 days in April, June and November and 31 days in most of the other months with the exception of February, which either has 28 or 29 days depending on if it's a leap year. Each week in a calendar has seven days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Each month has approximately four of these weeks. All of the months in a year make up 365 days which is also the same as 52 weeks. Now that we understand how a calendar works, let's see if we can help Thomas plan his birthday party. Thomas's birthday is on the 3rd of December. Can you use the calendar to determine what day Thomas's birthday will be on next year? Let's find the month first, which is December. Then let's look inside December's dates to find the number three. Once you find the number three, you can read off the day of the week. Thomas's birthday will be on a Sunday. Thomas doesn't know how to write the date on his birthday invitation. When writing dates, we use numbers to represent the day, month and year, separated by slashes. Since Thomas's birthday party is on the third day of the month, we will write 03 first. It is in December, which is the 12th month of the year, and the party is next year, which will be 2023. Thomas should write 03 for the third, slash 12, because it's the 12th month, slash 2023, because that's the year. Now that we have helped Thomas, let's see if you can use the calendar to answer these questions. Question number one. How many days are there in the month of June? Find June on the calendar and look for the biggest number within the month of June. The biggest number is 30. Therefore, there are 30 days in June. Question number two. How many Sundays were there in January 2022? So first thing is to make sure that your calendar that you're looking at is 2022. Then find January on the calendar. Count the number of numbers that are under Sunday. There are five numbers under Sunday. Therefore, there were five Sundays in January 2022. Question number three. What date would the third Sunday in September 2022 be? Find September on your calendar. Find the third number under Sunday. The third number under Sunday is 18. Therefore, the third Sunday in September is the 18th. Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.